Hi Taurus, this is a general spread for any sun, moon, or rising sign. It's for those in a relationship. Maybe you've just started seeing someone, but there's a lot of good information to be gained from this spread. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so where we begin is you. Taurus, this is about you. And this is what you want. So what you want is the Ace of Pentacles. And the Ace of Pentacles represents a relationship that is secure, that is stable, that is um, uh, prosperous, that you are uh, working hard toward your financial goals. So there's a sense here that you want something that is very um, uh, secure and happiness. Really, the Ace of Pentacles is a card about the ultimate happiness. You're spiritually happy. You are uh, relationship happy and you're building towards prosperity in all areas. So what you want is you want a relationship that is secure, that is uh, financially secure, happy, comfortable, with all good things coming into your garden. So really, you want to have uh, mostly everything within your relationship because this is really a powerful card. Often in times, you know, this is what we want. What you need is something different. So what you need is in a relationship, you need to be, you need this to be an equitable relationship. You need this to be fair. You need to have a partner that is going to respect you, honor you, and you need a partner that's going to act with integrity and with honesty and truthfulness. So perhaps in your past, you've had some issues here where this has affected the success of your, of your relationships. So with justice, you know, what you need is that you need someone that is going to provide you with a, a fair partner, someone who uh, pays attention to equity within a relationship, the give and take. how you're feeling right now, you are seeing your partner as someone who is able to provide this security and this stability. When we see the King of Pentacles, you know, this is about, I'm going to put this here. This is about slow moving, hardworking, devoted and loyal uh, qualities. So how uh, what you're feeling is that you're feeling that this is something that you really need within a relationship, is that you need this sense of um, someone who's going to be working hard in this relationship, someone who's going to be devoted to you, someone that is going to um, perhaps is a little conservative. So what you're feeling is that your partner is providing this stable and maybe um, predictable energy. And sometimes that's not a bad thing to be, to have someone that's predictable instead of impulsive or wild. So you're looking for stability. You're looking for fair, you're, you're needing fairness. You're wanting security, financial security, all of those things. So this is how you're feeling, what you are, how you see your partner is that you see your partner as someone who is a leader and someone who is willing to be taking adventures and someone who is um, not, uh, not necessarily going to stand still. So with the Three of Wands, it's a sense of planning your future and looking at the big picture, where you're headed, where you're going. And with the Three of uh, Wands, it's so again, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This, this, how you see your partner is someone who is going to perhaps do the things necessary to continue success and to, um, you know, walk through these pillars. I think that there's a lot of hope here that this is going to be a successful union because you're seeing forward expansion. You're seeing growth. So from your perspective, 
what you want is the Ace of Pentacles, which is love, security, firm foundation, um, comforts and abundance, prosperity. What you need, put this over here, what you need is a relationship that's going to focus on equality and fairness and truth. A partner that's going to be truthful for you. This could have been something in, that's affected past relationships. So it's what you need at this time. How you're feeling is that you're feeling that this person in your life can provide some stability, is going to be dependable and responsible and um, devoted perhaps. And then how you see them is you see them in this, the potential for really success, to explore together, to be adventurous. So uh, very interesting. So I'm going to put um, two cards here. We'll get back to these in a second. Now, this was you. So here's your partner. So your partner, what they need is that they need to be able to they need to be able to balance the things going on in their life. Oh, fuck, I fucked that up. <sighs> Let's just cut it. So what they want is that they want to be able to uh, juggle a relationship. They're going to be busy. They have a lot of things going on. And what they're wanting is perhaps to find um, the happy balance in, in a relationship and other responsibilities that are going on within their life. So they want to be able to find the balance, perhaps to be able to devote to the relationship. Okay, so what, what they want is they want something, they want to build something that is beautiful. They want to work together. They want a strong sense of community with friends. And you know, when we see the Three of Pentacles, it's the Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And this is um, will, the willingness to build something beautiful and to be proud of it. So what do they want? They want a relationship that they're going to be happy and proud of. And um, you know, it's the ability to work together with someone and to successfully work together with someone. What they need, what they want, how they feel is they feel that with this judgment card that there's a sense that they have a second chance or they have an opportunity to create the life that they want. Because judgment often goes toward, um, you know, it goes toward Reckoning, reckoning, an awakening of thinking about what you've done in the past and kind of karma in a sense and then where you're headed. And so it's never too late to start fresh, to be reborn. So how, what they need, want, and feel is that they want this relationship to feel like it's new, that it's exciting, that it's a chance for the highest uh, expression of love and something that is really um, powerful at this point in their life. Interesting. So now how they see you, they see the tower. Okay. So they see the tower and the tower is a card of change of foundations crumbling so that new beginnings can come in. So how do they see you? They see you with this awakening here that this tower energy represents throwing away their past, throwing away the things that perhaps did not work in, in prior relationships. And now they are maybe are clearing the slates and clearing the land for this new relationship. So how they're seeing you is that you're bringing big changes. <laughs> you are um, the catalyst for change within a relationship. It doesn't always have to be negative. So often this is a blessing in disguise. And so how they are viewing you is that you have the potential really to change their life. They may have been wondering 
how to balance relationships, how to balance um, work and everything that's in, involved in keeping a good relationship. They're willing to work hard and to build and to use what they know to, to create something in a beautiful relationship. They want, I'm sorry that they, yeah, they're, they're um, feeling a chance for being reborn and along with the tower, ready to clear out what was in the, what was in the past and ready for change to come into their life. So here we have a sense of what is happening for the parties, okay? You and your partner. These two cards, and I'm going to also pull an oracle card here. These two cards represent the forces, the forces that draw you together and the forces that pull you apart. Okay. So, get that in frame here. So the seven of wands, forces that either pull you together or, or pull you apart. So with the seven of wands, there's a sense that this relationship is going to have to, that you're both going to have to stand up for what you believe in. And that in order for this to work and to progress, that you're going to have to really uh, stake your claim and uh, take the high ground in a relationship. And so that means no low blows and nothing like that. It's just really a sense of if you both communicate communicate clearly what you want, then you should be in good shape. But you know, this is a sense of um, defending yourself and defending your beliefs. So at some point within this relationship, uh, you two may have to have some honest conversations to be able to bring things together to have build this beautiful relationship. So part of forces, Clearly of what's pulling you together, you have the chance here for an amazing re relationship. The Ace of Cups. So the Ace of Cups brings this opportunity for happiness, emotional connection, love, um, delight, and joy. Well, this is a wonderful card to have, and then this is just something to think about as your dynamic and how you talk to each other and how you work together. I'm going to pull these a little closer. Okay. Okay. And as part of forces, I like to choose an Oracle card and this card says courage. So relationships require courage and relationships require time spent working hard toward it. Sometimes there are big, big issues that happen like clearing, clearing the foundations to let something beautiful come in. This has to happen in this relationship for this to occur. Relationships need courage and the courage to stand up for what you believe in. And it seems what you believe in is truth and honesty and fairness within a relationship. It's very clear of what you want. You want Taurus. It's a pentacle sign, just like you. It's a earth sign like you, happiness and abundance, someone solid, dependable, loyal, provides well, provides security. They need a little balance. They want to work towards something beautiful and building something beautiful. They've had some thinking that's been going on, this sense of rebirth. And then the tower is how they see you, which is bringing in great changes. And these great changes will allow potential of love here. So this looks favorable for March, uh, for the relationship folks out there, you know, the key in on what you need to focus on, which is um, truthfulness, fairness, equity in a relationship, working hard together, working hard together on the relationship. Exploration, moving forward, looking at the big picture, Again, this is also a sense of looking at the big picture. So I would like to, I'm going to also pull a couple cards for, um, for a, uh, what do you call it? 
<laughs> a three month forecast. That's what you call it. Okay. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and push these off to the side. Clear the decks. Okay. Okay, so this is for April. Oh my goodness, so April we have the Lovers. And the Lovers is this great card because this is about depth and union and potential. So what does this tell us? This tells us in, in April that you're moving forward in this committed solid relationship. Let's see what the Oracle benediction benediction. So perhaps it's getting a blessing from the universe, which has put you together. Interesting. Okay. So this is April. I'm going to pull a card for May. So for May, we have the emperor. And we have empathy. So in, in May, the emperor is this um, very structured, very benevolent type of figure. Organized and ruling fairly. So things to think about in May for this relationship is to um, uh, try not to be heavy handed. That one person is kind of um, overtaking the other. To listen. To be wise and to be prudent in the decisions that you make together. With this Oracle card, there's a sense of empathy. So uh, again, it goes with ruling with kindness and sensitivity is to be empathetic. And that means listening to your partner. So uh, April and May, May is a sense of being empathetic and understanding where your partner's coming from. And to uh, make decisions wisely. Don't let the balance of power perhaps get out of whack. Okay. And then pick one for April, May, June, five of cups and wisdom. Okay. So let me get this up here in the frame. So the five of cups, you see the woman here looking over spilt, uh, spilt cups. This indicates some type of regret so that in June, something could cause sadness, could cause um, regret. You may feel um, disappointed. You may be unable to let something go, an argument, a harsh word, something that happened between the two of you that is not um, very <laughs> beneficial. But wisdom tells you in that month, to maybe put aside the things that are, uh, put aside the little pettiness and try to focus on the big picture and be wise. And that means communicating, that means listening to each other and really taking the time to put into the relationship. You know, forecasting out, you never know what's going to happen, but really these are, um, these are cards that help shape and define a relationship, the lovers and, and blessings, the emperor, this very solid figure, trustworthy figure, structure, organization, ruling fairly to be empathetic is to listen to the concern of others, to understand where they're coming from. It also could be someone, you know, that you're getting counsel from either one of you. And then in June, there's a sense here of some disappointment or some sadness. Cups have spilled. You're feeling regret. You may have been hurt in this relationship. Getting hurt. People get hurt in relationships. You've got to pick it up and you've either got to move forward or you've got to talk about things and let it go. And be wise about it. Meaning don't be impulsive or be harsh. So this is your... 
Relationships Spread from March 2018, Taurus, and I hope that you found it helpful. If you did, please subscribe and share, comment, and like. That would be awesome, and I will see you again next month. Bye. Thanks.